Mm. Did you see me? That was a personal best. What are you on about? Polished off a battered sausage in record time. Oh, it's bliss, you know. Ian and old babies crawling all over you. What, so you left Chez with all of them? Yeah. Oh, we'll have him to sleep by now. He reckons he's some kind of quad whisperer. Hey, he could have his own TV show. So, he'll be all right looking after him while you join me and Summer for some karaoke and dance mat action on a special day. What for? Oh, come on, you're joking. It's our 29th, take two. Come on, you've got to save me from Billy's board game. It all sounds a bit pre-pandemic, that, Paul. I don't think we're allowed parties. Oh, come on, it's not a party, eh? It's just three people having a laugh. Crop top, hot pants and whatever you're wearing. I've got four very cute reasons why I can't. <sighs> whatever happened to women having it all, eh? You're supposed to be a modern mum. Well, that doesn't mean that I want to ditch my babies to go to some sad party. Sad? Oh, come on, Gizmo. I can't celebrate being 29 again without my twinner. I'd be boring. <sighs> Look, you and boring have never been in the same sentence. Well, that was before my babies came along. Yeah, they'd be all right if you just took a bit of time for yourself. I know they will. It's me. I just don't feel like celebrating right now. I thought you were doing much better. I am! You... We're not teenagers anymore, Paul. Well, don't we're say it. We're only 30. Oh. I feel like I'm in Starsky and Hutch or something. Well, maybe we should have a code word, like Karabujan. And how am I going to get that into casual conversation? You'll never make James Bond. I just hope we're not making a terrible mistake. I'm all for recycling my shredded paper, but won't Todd be fuming when he discovers there's no cash? Well, it's like Billy said. We'd be idiots to leave actual cash, a thousand pounds in a bag on the street. Anyone couldn't have it. Besides, this way, we get to see him, don't we? Talk to him, ask him why he's been such a selfish numpty. I mean, I'm fascinated to see whether Billy actually smacks him one. Right, I've done your dirty work for you. Now I'm getting off. Oh, stay. You know you want to see him, even if it is just to have a go at him. I just don't know why he never contacted me. I thought you were all loved up with Scally McGee. Or is the trouble in paradise? No, me and Paul are fine, Tar. Todd doesn't know that, does he? I mean, for all he knows, we've been heartbroken and pining for him all this time. But you haven't. That is not the point. Did you see anybody lurking when you dropped off the fake cash? He might be wearing a disguise. Well, if he's got any sense, he will be. Yeah, no. No, I didn't see anyone. <laughs> 